What Marx said was, <clears throat> it's utterly impossible to measure the changes of things by time. Quite the contrary, time is an abstraction at which we arrive from the changes of things. And also in Mach, it was from Mach I learned the insistence he had on the relativity of motion or position, that you define position relative to other objects. And really, ever since then, I've been thinking, my question has been, what is time? What is motion? Uh, and and I'm still working on that. And I've got a wonderful group of collaborators now. Some are in their early 20s. Uh, then I've got some in their 40s and another very good mathematician who's about 60, I guess. Uh, so it's it's actually speeding up now, these, these things. Let me make one comment, though, about Einstein, if I may. When Ernst Mach died in 1916, Einstein wrote a very handsome uh, obituary of him. And among other things, he, he quoted that passage about time that I've just given and described it as a gem. But if you look through all of his works, everything he did and what he wrote, I don't think you'll find any attempt by Einstein to put that into reality in his work. And what he, when he was asked what is time, I think his answer was very much like what Frank Wilczek said, it's what a clock tells. But he didn't, but then, which I think is very significant, in his autobiographical notes in 1948, he said when he'd created general relativity, he'd committed a sin in that he'd introduced two quite distinct things. One was the space-time manifold with the metric on it. And then completely independently, he admitted that he was bringing in from outside rods and clocks that measured it. And he said, that's inconsistent. The rods and the clocks should emerge out of the fundamental equations of the theory. And, and he never did that. But in fact, I think one of the things in chapter seven of my book, I do explain how at least within Einstein's theory, rods and clocks do emerge. And that indicates strongly that they don't exist near the Big Bang. So I think we have to rethink very radically how we think about the conditions of the Big Bang, because there aren't any rods and clocks there.